Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The Government of the Republic of Western Armenia and the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia organized a conference dedicated to Anahit in Yerevan. The Western Armenia Archery Cup 2024 Championship will be held in Yerevan. The lack of communication complicates the employment problem Armenians of Javakh. From the 1990s up to 2023, there are thousands missing persons from the Armenian side. A special representative of the UN urged the international community to listen to the request of displaced Arsakh citizens. The Mafia dynasty of Azerbaijan is responsible for ethnic cleansing in Arsakh, page deputy. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 15 September, at the Double Tree Hotel in Yerevan, a conference will be held organized by the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia and by the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, under the title The Immaculate Mother of All Sensibility, Benevolent Nature of All People. Many interesting topics and issues will be discussed during the conference related to Western Armenia, which are basic for the Armenian nation. We invite everyone who wishes to participate in this event by reserving your place in advance. To participate in the conference, you may call by the following phone number 94479966. President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Abrahamian. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan. Chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Harutsunyan. Deputy Prime Minister of the Government, Mr. Arman Hakopian, will attend the event. The conference will start at 12 o'clock and will last until 15. In Yerevan on 13 up to 15 September 2024, the second sports event will be held at the Western Armenian Archery Cup Championship. We kindly invite all archery sports clubs to participate in this important sporting event. The tournament aims to develop the sport of archery in Armenia and contribute to the professional development of athletes. The event will be held in Yerevan, where many teams and athletes from different countries will participate. The chairman of the organizing committee, Arman Grikorian, is in official invitation, emphasized the importance of this event and called on all clubs to actively participate in the competition for the Cup. The program of the event includes competitions of different age and quality groups, which will allow athletes of all levels to demonstrate their skills. The tournament promises to be dynamic and exciting, packed with a variety of sporting events and a friendly atmosphere. Employment remains a serious problem in Semtsche, Javakheti. Most of the workable men have to go abroad in search of work. Local mass media and non-governmental organizations state that the skills in labor market don't match their requirements and the lack of modern educational program deepens this problem. Experts emphasize that in order to solve the problem of employment, it is important to establish communication between different stakeholders. Supply and demand don't match because there is no communication. The authorities are not interested in cooperation with local organizations, which makes it difficult to train specialists and solve the problem. All structures must work towards creating communications. According to Zara Matunin, head of communication program of Red Cross delegation in Eastern Armenia, after the military operations from the 1990s up to 2020 and 2023, around 1,000 people are considered missing by the Armenian side. According to Red Cross data, about 700 people have gone missing since the 90s, and the, after military operations in 2023, about 300. These families turned to Red Cross organization to find their relatives and Amatouni emphasized that the Red Cross does not participate in the negotiations with the Azerbaijani side, but always keeps the issue in center of attention. The Red Cross visits only those persons whose imprisonment has been confirmed by Baku. Baku has officially confirmed the capture of 23 Armenians, 17 of whom appeared there in 2023 after the September aggression. Fabiani Salvioli, UN Special Rapporteur on Promoting Truth Justice, Repercussions and guarantees of non-repetition presented his report on his visit to Eastern Armenia from November 16 to 24 in 2023. The report noted that the administrations that have governed Eastern Armenia since independence from Soviet rule in 1991 have adopted a number of measures aimed at neutralizing the legacy of human rights, violations committed during the Soviet rule by autocratic governments and during the Artsakh conflict. 
Although such measures were not included in the transitional justice process or formally considered part of such an agenda, most of them were aimed at uncovering violations that affected Armenian soldiers or victims of the conflict. However, progress towards establishing truth-seeking mechanisms in the areas of criminal justice, reparations and reporting of past human rights violations has been inconsistent. The arrival of the special rapporteur to Armenia coincided with the forced deportation of 115,000 Armenians from Artsakh as a result of the conflict. He met with refugees and authorities in host communities and in Yerevan, where he witnessed the pain and urgent needs of the displaced population. He expressed his solidarity with the refugees who were provided with basic services, housing and livelihood. However, medium-term solutions must be provided with the support and advice of the international community. Development and implementation of such measures is an urgent task. I am one of the members of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, which is banned from entering Baku. Peace Deputy Paul Gavan wrote about it on social networks. I wouldn't like it any other way, and it is a brutal dictatorship led by a family mafia dynasty. He is responsible for ethnic cleansing in Artsakh and pressures on his own citizens, wrote the deputy. Western Armenian television, being faithful to its mission and dedicated to the viewer, continues its work with innovative approaches. We don't engage in self-promotion, we present important news about the history, present and future of Western Armenia. We address the issues that concern the Armenian nation. Our television presents the activities of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other state structures in a transparent and making it accessible and understandable. Dear compatriots, your support will enable us to reach new height. Our strength lies in unity and through our joint efforts we can create a unified and prosperous homeland. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.